Hey everybody, this is Trace. I'm Erin, and we are here with our video blog today, going over what you need to know about Fargo. Because it is the place to be, man. <laughs> just, Your phone just F up? Finally started. It gave oh. us a, like an intro. Well, okay. and if you find us on Instagram, um, the video is going to be lagging because Trace's phone hates her. Okay, so we're going over our blog on Facebook. Our Diamond Realty Associates. Um, we have some notes in there, which are our blogs. Erin wrote a really great one about Fargo. She found a lot of really great facts. So we're going to talk about Fargo. Well, and West Fargo and Moorhead. And Moorhead. Because people think Fargo like the movie, but we are actually three different little cities. So what is there to know? Well, West Fargo is growing like crazy. We're seeing a lot of residential developments popping up. Um, it's a key place that has really started booming because it's protected by the diversion. So as people may not know, we have a river that flows, separates I want airplane mode, damn it. Separates us between Minnesota and North Dakota side. So Moorhead is Minnesota side, Fargo, West Fargo is North Dakota side. Sister cities. Loving. But we have um, we have a river that runs through the middle of us. Well, when we get snow on top of that running water, we get flooding. Um, Fargo is working on getting more protected. West Fargo is already protected by a diversion. So we're seeing a lot, lot of residential pop up out there. We did just have um, a con luncheon with the guy from Fargo Parks. West Fargo Parks, isn't that where he was? Sure. He said every resident in West Fargo, oh, were you not there? I was not there. So has I was learning a too. park within a quarter mile radius. So and that is true. You cannot, you're never gonna be more than a quarter mile away from a park in West Fargo. And I'm a West Fargo resident myself, so I'm a little partial to West Fargo. Um, I love that it's close to the, where I live, at least anyway, close to the interstate. They're keeping somewhat updated on the construction of the roads for all the growth. Mm -hmm. Cheyenne is a major arterial road a mess that right sucks. <laughs> Give it a year. I live over there. It'll be great. Uh, but you're right. There's parks everywhere. There's schools extremely close by. And so you didn't know this then, since you missed out. But the Rusted Center is going to have mm -hmm. like indoor parks now. So they're extending it. They have like the first section, which is like basketball courts, pickleball. Do you know what pickleball is? I do. It's huge okay. in the Southwest. My yeah, aunt and yeah. uncle play it. It's like um, racquetball with a mallet. It's like a little described um, it. Yeah, it's a little little <laughs> miniature version, kind of like ping pong racket. Yeah, yeah. And you play it on half of a tennis court. Yeah. You got so any they, questions? I'll <laughs> give you my aunt Susan. She's obsessed with so it. So Rested Center has two courts for that and then basketball courts that can be made into volleyball courts. And then they're gonna build indoor turf and indoor parks because it is so cold here. And that's one of the things that people know most about Fargo is like how cold we get. We're known for our snow and our hats. Yeah. But another thing about West Fargo too, right off of Cheyenne is they're building a parking garage because they have a, it's like an athletic center right off of Cheyenne and 32nd. The so they're really making that like a little main hub. They're putting, I think, some shops and maybe mm -hmm. restaurants. So it's almost going to be like a mini downtown for Southwest Fargo. And Hornbachers is going over. Hornbachers is really close. So yeah. really, my neighborhood's the place to be right now. <laughs> and we're going to know which houses are coming up for sales. So we will know. We're but gonna, we're going to be like in the know. Right. West Fargo, also their downtown, they're re-updating and um, restructuring their downtown to get more people into West Fargo because Fargo has the downtown that everyone wants to be at right now. Yeah, yeah it's like so. rejuvenated mm -hmm. a little bit. And they did that and with it, the Fargo downtown a few years ago and it really changed it. It's busy, it's hopping, it's got restaurants you'll only find in Fargo. Bars Patios are like a big thing because it is not as cold year round as you think it is. Our average summer high? 82. <laughs> what? And we're kind of like um, we're kind of like Iceland where it's like 40 there, but it feels like 90. It feels like 110 when it's 82 here. We do all... get really hot and sweaty. We don't know what to do with the heat. It'll be 70 <laughs> and I'm from Arizona, so I know. And it'll be 70 and we'll be on the lake sunbathing when <laughs> any other part of the country you're still in hats. Okay, so what are some uh, perks well, of Should we talk Fargo? about our low or should we talk about more positives before We're gonna we talk about our winter? We're going to low because it's weather. been freezing here. What is it today? Like 16 degrees? Is that with or without the wind chill? But there's not a lot of wind today. so It's warm when it's not windy. Yeah. If you just get an auto start and heated seats, you're fine. Um, Fargo is going to start writing tickets for if you leave your car running. What if I have auto start? I'm just saying that that's something to think about. Okay, Fargo, we're not trying to get people away. <laughs> we're trying to help them survive. Okay. But, okay, so Fargo downtown. Fargo downtown went through a huge renovation. Um, they invested $125 million, um, 
since 1989, and 67 of its downtown buildings have been renovated, um, and eight new buildings have been constructed. So if they have those new condos going up. They have new, yeah, over a million dollar condos. Mm -hmm. They have a new parking garage, so you can park inside when you go downtown. Which is so nice, mm -hmm. so you're not having to walk three blocks. Another thing that you might not like notice, because we don't think about it a lot, but Fargo does not have metered parking. Right. You can park anywhere downtown and not get charged for they it. They do have timed parking, though. Like, mm -hmm. some of it's only 90 minutes. But, yeah, there are a lot of open parking spots in downtown. My brother came up from the city, so he's like, we gotta go. I only have 90 minute parking. And I was like, they don't really enforce that. Because yeah. there's lots of parking down there at that time of day. Yeah, so, and they got rid of, a few years ago, they got rid of two one-way streets that was really causing a lot of congestion. So now those are, are both ways. And that mm -hmm. helps with the traffic downtown. Mm -hmm. um, but downtown, anyone who's lived here, moved here, they know that it's really a unique, unique downtown. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have fun when we go down there. There's lots of food, breweries are mm -hmm. popping up. And again, yeah. like Trace mentioned, if you're curious about more of the information we're talking about, um, like we learned this information from livability.com. So um, the blog that we're going over has all the, um, what are they called? Facts and figures and The things links. you can click on. Links, links, hyperlinks, hyperlinks to learn more. We're not just making this up. We we found it from somebody else on the internet. Did research. Research. Made it up. Um, so they also have designated bicycle and pedestrian safety zones, which because again we're not always thirty below here, so we do like to get out in the summer. Um, they have bicycles you can rent. Uh, they can be rented for only ten dollars per month. So if you're tired of you know because there still is traffic downtown, um, rent a rent a bicycle locker. And our bike paths are getting better. West Fargo is really good about making sure that there's bike paths throughout the neighborhoods and parks, but then Fargo, like North Fargo especially, is improving their bike paths too and locking paths for mm -hmm. people. So just being more friendly. Yeah. And we also, like I said, unique restaurants only found here. Um, the Hodo Lounge, that one's my husband's favorite because he feels very classy sipping a drink down there. Plus it's got a beautiful view of the Broadway street where the hustle and bustle, it's kind of the main avenue of If Broadway. you can get up to... He can the get rooftop. up to the rooftop. Well, the regular window, see, I'm peasant. I've never been up to the rooftop like some people. You need to know how to say the right things. You need to, to know how to lie in the elevator <laughs> to get up to the rooftop. But it's beautiful once you're up there. When Logan comes to visit, we'll see if he can replicate <laughs> that. Uh, but no, Hodo, um, JL Beers is a burger place we have here that is delicious. If you have not had a fried egg on your burger, you're not living. Or a peanut butter burger. Um, Vinyl Taco, amazing. Again, this is downtown. And some of these restaurants have spread. Like, we have um, a Jail Beers in West Fargo. And mm -hmm. Worse is a very popular yep, bar. that's expanded. Mezzaluna went there last night. That's fancy if you want to treat your guy or gal. <laughs> um, but some statistics. So if you're a nerd, um, which a lot of us are, which is why I have statistics <laughs> on it. Um, but we've got about 115,000 people. So we're kind of, we're like Goldilocks. Not too big, not too small. Not everyone knows you, but you still know a lot of people in town. Our median age is 31.5, which is pretty like much us. exactly in the middle of us. Yeah. I'm older. Um, our own employment rate is only 2.5%, and so it's below the national average. It was even below the national average when we hit the 08 recession. Cost of living is also 1.2% lower um, in Fargo than the U.S. average. So if you want some of those facts, go to fmwfchamber.com, and you can find a lot of statistics on mm -hmm. our town. Mm -hmm. So we're growing, Fargo's growing, West Fargo's growing. We don't, I mean, we know Moorhead grew. Yes. Um, we only know about well, the trains in Moorhead. And no sales tax. No sales tax. Um, um, you get more house, we talked about this before, but you get more house for your money. Yep, you, the housing, the average housing cost is about $30,000 cheaper, but you're paying a little bit more in taxes. So any house under 250,000, it washes out anything mm -hmm. over, let's talk. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, that's all good st statistical information. Yeah, so hopefully we've convinced you that Fargo is pretty cool and you, yeah, the winter suck, we're not gonna lie. Um, but our coats are cute, our hats are cute, sweaters are always cute. God's had this bad boy on today <laughs> and now we're sweating in our office. Uh, no, it really it is easy to adjust, just like people adjust to the heat, um, you adjust to the cold and we're not like that year round, our summers, I have never in my life experienced spring fever until the first spring I lived here. It's literally like you're on crack. You there's lakes it. everywhere. And there's lakes. They're only 45 minutes away. Yeah. So yeah. we're pretty cool. And we just wanted to give you a little tidbit of our town and why we love it. Okay. That's it. Okay. Goodbye.